Hi, my name is Jose Calero. I'm president and chief product architect at LapWorks Inc. And today I'd like to show you the In Vogue iPad stand. Okay, here's how the In Vogue iPad stand comes to you. Uh, it does have a it does have a handle that you can carry it with if you're ever going to carry it, unless you just set it up. But here's how it comes to you. In this format, here are all the components, and I'll show you how they assemble in a moment. Okay, the In Vogue iPad stand comes with it comes apart, separated like this, in eight components. And you have to assemble it, but it's not hard to assemble, so I'm going to do that for you and show you how this works. The first thing is you start with the base. The base is the number one component, and what we do is we simply, you can tell the shape that we're working with, you simply insert this into its spot, push down, and there, there's a screw, a, the hex screw that goes right in here, and I'm going to put that in right now. It is here, and it also comes with an Allen wrench a big Allen wrench and a smaller Allen wrench. Alright, so we'll start this right here. Put this down. And it doesn't take a lot of strength to, to assemble this. It's very easy. And then we'll get a little more leverage on it. Now it's in there. And you don't have to super tighten this. It is tight enough, trust me. Now, once you have this in place, the next thing to do is to put up the feet, and the, these are the feet. There's two of them, and we'll put the first one in, and there's no left or right. They're just feet and feet, and drop this in, this screw, and this one, and it's a hex nut, so you take the uh, key and tighten it down as I'm doing, and I'm doing this in real time. There's no, we're not breaking the, the, uh, the film while I do this. And again, you don't have to tighten it down caveman tight. Just make it tight enough where you're comfortable and you're not going to strip it. And there it is. And then we put in the other one. Do exactly the same thing as we did the first time. And we're not timing this, but I'm assuming it doesn't take more than about three minutes to assemble this in vogue stand. Now, of course, I've done this once or twice, but here it is. All right, now the base is tight, and voila, there it is. Now, the next thing you want to assemble is the support arm. And the support arm uh, slides into this slot here, and I'll show you how that's done. And then we'll go ahead and loosen this so the, this plate can slide into, oops, let me just do this once. Okay, so this can slide into here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put this on my lap, so you can still see it. We're going to remove this plastic cap that is on the top. Then we slide, and I don't know if you can see this, but I'm sliding in this, that into there, and you can see how it slides down. We'll put the cap back on, and there it is. Now, this slides up and down, as you can see, and the way you lock it in place is you just tighten this knob. Now it's tight. Now I'm going to move this down to the floor here so you can see how this fits on here. Now I told you that there are eight components that come with the, that come with the uh, Invoke. This one on my left hand is for the iPad 1. This one is for the iPad 2 and 3, and both of them fit in here perfectly. And the way this works, if you will notice, this piece here has a triangular shape where the narrow is at the top and the wider is at the bottom. That corresponds to this, so this part slips right into here. And then to keep it from moving, you just slide this around and then it's not going to come out. This kind of locks it in place. So let me move, slide it back. And then I'm going to slide it on here like this. And there it is. And then we move it like this. And now it's not going to come out. Now let's take my iPad. 
and snap it on here. Whoops, we have to open it up. Did you hear that snap? It's on there. Now, this also, let me turn this sideways for you. This also, not only, uh, you can see how it rotates here at the end of the arm. It rotates down, so you can look down at it if you're down on the ground. And by the way, let me demonstrate something while I've got it here. This will slide almost all the way to ground level, and then it'll come right back up again, and you tighten it. You can tighten it anywhere along the length of this. And it's a 25, I believe it's a 25 inch, uh, excuse me, no, it elevates 28 and a half inches from here to here. Now, this not only rotates up and down, you can see this, and you can actually see this if you're standing up at a distance, but then it also turns completely left, 180 degrees, and completely right, depending on how you want to see it. And it also swivels to any from landscape to portrait and back again. So the, you, number one, you saw how quickly this assembled. You see how easy it is to put together. And all you've got to do is put these pieces together and you've got yourself a stand that you can view when you're sitting down, when you're, when you're laying down, um, or even when, you know, this is a wild idea, but part of our function is to find products that allow our customers to use their tablets and iPads, in this case their iPad, in places they haven't thought of before. And imagine sitting in your tub having a nice glass of wine and you set up your iPad and you watch your favorite movie or TV show or whatever it is. This is a great product. And on top of that, as you can see, this is a very stylish, well-designed product. It is smooth. It is clean. It doesn't have any sharp angles. It doesn't have any sharp edges. Everything comes together. Even the rubber uh, head matches perfectly and there's no sharp edges to it. So we like this product. We think the InVogue iPad stand is stunning and can be very useful for just about anybody.